Hey, what's up everybody? Doran Aldana coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today, by the way, this is Doran Aldana, the Mortgage Marketing Coach. In case you didn't know, now you know. And today we're going to talk about the three limiting beliefs, the three limiting beliefs that you think are true that end up keeping you in the poo. No, the three limiting beliefs that you think are true that kill your success, that limit your ability to create and manifest your dreams, that limit your ability to be fruitful, to be productive, to be profitable, and to have fun and fulfillment at the same time. These are insidious because they're in the realm called we don't know that we don't know. They're in the realm called, oh man, I had no idea about that until the light of insight explodes in our mind. And we realize, wait a second, there's a different perspective here. There's new insight I did not see before. Notice the word insight. You can see with your eyes, but you may not see reality clearly because until and unless you get accurate insight, you continue to see with a limited filter, with erroneous presuppositions. It reminds me, My mom came for Thanksgiving. We live in Canada here and we have Thanksgiving before the U.S. because we're badass like that. We like to beat you to the punch. So you're welcome. It's just another day in paradise, baby. And so we had Thanksgiving, had mom over. She brought the kids toys and cool things. And my son got this gift with this cool uh, pyramid. And I wish I brought it on camera because if I brought it on camera, you'd see that the pyramid is actually broken up into... Uh, little chunks, they're actually almost like octagon shapes, three-dimensional octagon shapes, and they're all pieced together. And there's about five or six of these conglomerations. They're in their different uh, configurations and different colors. And you ha- they, what happens is they give you the beginning of the puzzle. They give you like the first two or three positions, and you have to put the other ones in to make it this perfect pyramid. And so my son is working on the genius level. Like he's He's not messing around me. He's going straight to the very advanced stuff. And so he's working on this genius pyramid puzzle and he can't get it. He can't get it. He's stumped. And for the life of, life of him, he's trying to solve it. He cannot solve it. So he brings in the big ass brains daddy to figure out how to fix this thing. Right. <laughs> and uh, we're trying it for a while. And I'm like, man, I can't figure this out either. What's going on? So I'm like, OK, let's start from the beginning. Let's retrace our steps and start from the beginning. And what we found out is that he had set up the foundational steps wrong so that the puzzle was no longer solvable. Because he had a presupposition that the foundation he had laid in that puzzle was accurate, now we were perennially and consistently banging our head against the wall, trying to solve the puzzle that could not be solved based on those erroneous assumptions, those erroneous beliefs. Are you seeing the connection here? And far too often we have erroneous presuppositions in our life where we presuppose it's true when it's not true. And now we're trying to win the puzzle. We're trying to solve the puzzle of life based on erroneous assumptions and beliefs that just don't work, that set us up for failure and struggle and trials and tribulations and frustrations. And so of course, once we put the right pieces of the puzzle in place in the right sequence based on the instructions, now the puzzle was solvable and we solved it within a matter of just a few minutes. But prior to that, it was one attempt after the other attempt after the other attempt without any success whatsoever, frustration. And some of you are coming to this audio or this video right now, and you're in a state of frustration because what you're doing ain't working. You're spinning your wheels. You're wasting your time on stuff to no avail. You're sacrificing time away from friends and family and hobbies and passions and coming up fruitless Because what you're doing is based on erroneous beliefs and presuppositions that simply are not true. And therein lies the reason why I'm doing this podcast today, to shed light in the darkness, to have you see more clearly. So with that as the preface, the first limiting belief 
that you think is true that simply ain't true that can kill your success is this. You can level up without leaving your comfort zone. I think I put that in twice, but you get the idea. You can level up without leaving your comfort zone. That just ain't true, guys. And the, the problem is, until and unless we get out of our comfort zone, we will never be able to level up. We will never be able to get to that next level of income, of freedom, of being able to step into the fullness of God's good for you in your life. We'll never be able to get to that level until and unless we get out of our comfort zone because everything we have right now, our income, our health, our relationships, everything we have right now is based on our current comfort zone. And until and unless we're willing to push out of that comfort zone, be willing to stretch, be willing to strain in order to get the gain, we're never going to be able to get beyond where we're at. It's like if you go to the gym and you just stay in your comfort zone and you only lift weights that are comfortable, you're just going to stay where you're at in terms of muscle, in terms of strength, in terms of endurance. Because it's in straining outside of your comfort zone that you grow, that you advance, that you get better, sharper, and stronger. And so the same applies in our business where you know we want to level up. I was just talking to a guy today. He wants to level up from about 300K per year to a million per year. The problem with that is he's doing good right now. And good is always the mortal enemy of great. Have you noticed that? Like when you're doing good, it's easy to slip into your comfort zone. It's easy to to slip into, I'm doing better than most. I'm doing okay. I'm making good money. I'm comfortable. But if you want to get to that next level where you're making three times the amount, you're making a million bones per year, it ain't going to happen inside your comfort zone. You're going to have to think differently. You're going to have to operate differently. You're going to have to do things differently. You're going to have to stretch out of your comfort zone on a daily basis. And that's hard. Let's be real. It's hard to step out of your comfort zone. It's hard to take leaps into the unknown. It's hard to take risks. It's hard to stretch. It's hard to strain. It's hard to voluntarily inflict ourselves with pain and strain in order to get the gain. Let's be real. It is. But the champion's way is always pressing and advancing and expanding out of one's comfort zone. The champion's way is continually expanding because the champion understands that you're you're either growing or you're dying. You're either expanding or you're contracting. You're either taking new ground or you're giving up ground. You're either climbing up new mountains or you're sliding down old ones. There is no in between. And when you start to get comfortable, it's insidious because we've got coping mechanisms for that. It's called softening the problem. It's called saying things ain't so bad. I'm pretty comfortable here. It's called, you know what? I want to just kind of savor what I have. I don't want to tip over the apple cart. I'm kind of happy with the way it is. And so we start to reinforce the status quo. And then that becomes the beginning of the end for growth. And when you're not growing, like I said before, you're dying. If you think about it as a body of water, if a body of water is not flowing, it's stagnating. What does stagnation breed? Rot. Stagnation breeds rot. As human beings... We're not physical beings. We're not physical beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a physical experience. We're designed to be expansive, to continually discover and explore and expand our horizons, expand our mind, our hearts, our spirits. We're designed to grow. We're designed to become a better version of ourselves every day. That's where life is. Life is in progress. When are you the happiest? You're the happiest when you make progress. True? Not when you have the most amount of money in your bank account. Not when you're kicking ass and taking names and everything's, you know, lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows. Not when you're just absolutely 
flying high on cloud nine every day where you're like a hot knife through butter and you're just crushing it and everything's going your way and you got the Midas touch. No, you know when you're the happiness? You're the happiest when you see growth, when you're expanding, growing, and taking new ground, you're fulfilling a mission, and you're moving forward in your life. Isn't that the case? So often we erroneously start to fall prey to these misconceptions, these presuppositions that I can expand and I can grow without inflicting myself with the discomfort of stepping out of my comfort zone, of taking a risk, of going into the bold unknown. Often we think we fall prey to this misconception that I can grow and I can get stronger without putting more weight on the weight set. And you might be thinking, Doran, I'm not like that. Hell no. I'm always about growing. I'm always about, you know, I understand that if you you don't want to grow, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to go. You got to move up. If you want to grow up, you got to move up. You got to expand. But here's the thing. We say that intellectually. We know it intellectually. But when's the last time you make a made a bold, intelligent, strategic investment in your breakthrough in terms of expanding in your health or in your wealth or in your business? When's the last time that you've been getting up an hour or half an hour earlier so you can make your mornings even that much more productive? When's the last time you took a risk that scared the shit out of you because it was like way outside of your comfort zone? If you can't say in the last week or the last two weeks, you're not walking the winner's way, my friend. There's an opportunity to level up and there's no leveling up without stepping out of our comfort zones. So we fall prey to this misconception and it's unconscious that we can expand without expanding outside of our comfort zone. And it's just not true. So my goal for you, friends, is that you develop a habit. You cultivate a lifestyle of perennially and consistently stepping out of your comfort zone because that's where life is. That's where expansion is. That's where the fun, the adventure of life is. So that's the first limiting belief that kills our success. The limiting belief that we think is true that just ain't so. The next limiting belief is this. Success is about doing. Seems logical, right? Success is about implementing and taking action and strategic and tactical advancements and making things happen and implementation and execution. And that is all true. Let's be real. we got to implement. But until and unless you become the kind of person you need to become, all the doing in the world won't help you. You can do till you're blue in the face. You can take all the action you want. But if you're thinking and feeling lack, limitation, and scarcity, all you're going to do is attract more lack, limitation, and scarcity. It's not about the doing. It's about your being. You've heard the saying, success is about be, do, have, right? Become the person you need to become. Then you'll be able to do what you need to do. Then you can have what you want to have. The problem is that we live the opposite way. Every day, all day, we have a gravitational pull towards doing and tasking. And we pretty much resist and neglect the things that actually feed our soul that help us to become more. Prayer, meditation, study, learning, visualizing, affirming. How much time do we take out of our day to really step into the glory of our dream? And feel the joy and the glory and the passion and the ecstasy and the gratitude and the thanksgiving and the adventure of our dream as if we already have it. Chances are slim to none. Most people don't spend one iota of time on that. Then they spend their whole day tasking. Do, 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 do. And they wonder why it's like watching freaking paint dry when it comes to achieving what they really want to achieve. Because they spend so much time on the visible, they never get to the invisible. And here's the thing. If you want to change the fruit, you got to change the root. If you want to change what's above the ground, you got to change what's below the ground. If you want to change the physical, you got to change the metaphysical. If you want to change the visible, you got to change the invisible. And yet we are not inclined to go there, are we? We're entertainment crazed. We're checking social media. We're checking email. We're scrolling through our news feeds. 
we're doing all this stuff in the physical realm, in the visible realm, but we don't do much when it comes to the invisible realm, the meta metaphysical realm. And it's in the metaphysical that we are at the source of the genesis of our power to create and manifest. And I fall prey to the same proclivity as well. It's like, man, I got so much to do. But one of the things I've found that's made the biggest difference that's catapulted me to a whole new level of manifestation power and leveling up my leadership and leveling up my ability to create and leveling up my ability to manifest is making an, a non-negotiable must to focus on working on myself, not just on my business. As the great and late Jim Rohn once said, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you'll make a fortune. And therein lies my point, my friends. Success is not about doing, it's about becoming. Because it doesn't matter all the cars and the cash in your wallet and the big house and the adventures, all that's great and wonderful. But once you achieve, you realize it's not about the having, it's about who you've become. The most valuable and most precious reward for success is not what you get, it's who you've become. And so it's about the being and becoming a better version of yourself that's going to attract top producing realtors. It's going to attract the right partners. It's going to attract the right team members. That's going to attract all a matter of orchestration and people at time of an events to be able to move in your favor, to put all the moving parts in place to manifest your dream business and your dream life. But it doesn't happen by accident. It happens by design through purposeful intention, knowing what you want, and then stepping into it and becoming the person who attracts that and is grateful for it in advance, feeling the victory in advance, feeling the adventure of it in advance, feeling the thrill of it in advance, enjoying the journey, not achieving to be happy, but happily achieving. And so the third limiting belief that you think is true that kills your success is this. Attracting top realtors is hard. Attracting top realtors is hard. I can't tell you how many times if I got a nickel for every time someone told me, man, getting a, a top realtor to meet with you, let alone send you business. It's like trying to chase unicorns. It doesn't happen. If I got a nickel for every time I heard that, I'd have a big ass stack of cash in my wallet just from that alone because people tell me that all the time. That's what I call an erroneous belief, uh, an erroneous presupposition, just like my son had the presupposition. He set up that puzzle correctly. But what happens is it sets you up so that you never solve the puzzle of your business because you're spending time with the wrong people because you think you have to work with low producers because they're the easy ones. They're the ones who are receptive. Or you think realtors in general are just pains in the ass and you just leave them alone entirely. You, you throw the baby out with the proverbial bathwater and you don't work with any of them and you're leaving tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table doing it the hard way because you think top producing agents are hard to attract. It's like Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And while you're saying it's impossible, make sure you're not interrupting someone who's doing it because I can promise you this. People are doing it all day, every day. I just had a client just uh, a couple days ago. She's a newbie. She attracted a top producing agent using our proven formula without a single cold call. And he does 70 transactions a year. On the first meeting, she landed him as a top producer and as an exclusive partner on the first meeting without making a single cold call, 70 transactions a year. How badass is that? That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. Agreed? So while you are thinking, man, getting these top dogs to meet with me, I can do that. Or maybe you're thinking, hey, I can get any agent to meet with me, but getting a top producer, that's hard. Or maybe you're thinking, I can get a top producer in front of me, but getting their loyalty and getting their commitment, that's hard. The reason it's hard is because you're doing it the hard way, my friends. You're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. You're heading east looking for the sunset. You're trying to build a foundation for a skyscraper with a gardening trowel instead of an excavator. If you do it the hard way, hell yeah, it's going to be hard. Just like me working this puzzle with my son was hard because 
we had a presupposition that was erroneous that had us be set up to fail. So of course it was hard. It was impossible, in fact. Same thing with you. If you're heading east looking for the sunset, yeah, that's going to be hard. <laughs> that's beyond hard. That's impossible. There's only one thing worse than going the wrong direction. That's going the wrong direction enthusiastically, thinking you're actually getting somewhere and you're not. Let's be real. Let's have accurate thinking. Doing it the hard way makes it hard. But it's not that it needs to be hard. It's because you have an erroneous assumption that it is hard because you're doing it the hard way. So those are the three erroneous assumptions, beliefs, myths, whatever you want to call them, that if you allow them to continue to stay in your head, they're going to take your power, your peace, and your profits. They're going to steal from you like a thief in the night. You have no idea how many tens of thousands of dollars they're leaving on the table because of these erroneous assumptions and beliefs, because you're not stepping out of your comfort zone, because you're not going after top producing agents using the right smart method. You're doing it the hard way, going after the bottom feeding low, you know, low producing agents. Or maybe you are showing up where you're just tasking, 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 working, working, working hard. You're never, never taking time to sharpen the ax and become more effective, more productive, to be a better leader, to be more potently productive so you can get more out of the time you're putting in instead of putting in more time. All of these things cause you to leak and hemorrhage opportunity. And that's what I want you to avoid. If you've been digging and picking up what I've been laying down and you'd like to learn more about how you can really level up, how you can not just take an incremental little baby step up, but a massive step up. We're talking an extra 100K, 200K, half a million, even a million plus per year in additional income. And you want to be able to do that work in the same, if not less hours. If you want to learn how to inject massive leverage into your business and you want to learn what it really takes to multiply your profits without multiplying your workload, to be like a hot knife through freaking butter and just crush it. And you want to be able to set up the puzzle pieces so that they're set up so that you're set up to win. Shortest path to the cash without messing around doing it the hard way. Then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where Either you get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We lift up the hood on your business. We look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you want to be. And if we can help you get there, by all means, we will show you how. If not, frankly, we will be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we'll even have some fun. So if that sounds fair to you and you're 100% commission mortgage professional and you're defiantly committed to leveling up your income and your life and your leadership and adding an extra 100000 or more to your annual income, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. And all you need to do that is go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com. I'm going to type it into the screen right now if you're watching. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And all you do is book into our calendar. And uh, it's obviously first come, first serve. So, you know, the faster you get all over this like white on rice, the faster you'll be able to hook up with us and uh, the, the less you'll have to wait or stay in line. And we'll hook up and see if we might have the synergy, the chemistry to be able to take your business to a whole other level. So again, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. For some reason, it's not showing up on the screen there properly, but hopefully it shows up for you all right. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is Doran Aldana coming at you from MortgageMarketingCoach.com for the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Now go forth, take action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you're going to get massive results. Thanks for hanging with me. We'll talk soon. Peace.